Hi, this is Jeannie Ortega with Breathecast, and in studio today, we have the lead actor of the new film, Believe Me, Alex Russell. Alex, thank you so much for being with Breathecast. Thank you so much for having me. So, the film is incredible, and people thank are already you. raving about it. So um, first, can you tell us a little bit about the film and your character in the film? Uh, I was telling you a little earlier, you play a questionable character really well. <laughs> um, yeah, um, so, some people are saying that the you know having a protagonist that's a jerk and likable at the same time is 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 selling. So that's good. That's like what we <laughs> want to hear. Um, Believe Me is just basically about a guy who's sort of um, desperate for cash and ha and feels like he has no other options and recruits his his best friends into starting a fake charity to rip off Christians uh -huh. and it all sort of spirals out of control. Yeah, so um, to rip off Christians, ouch. <laughs> um, can you tell us a little bit about that? I mean, have you ever done a faith-based anything before or do you come from a Christian background at all? Um, I, I grew up Christian, um, but not like, you know, we weren't going to church every Sunday type thing. It was kind of probably lazy Christianity, it was sort <laughs> of like Easter and Christmas. Um, I'm, I'm, I would call myself agnostic myself. I'm sort of like, I don't know. Um, okay. but I, and I've never done a job like this before. Okay. And, um, this, you know, the filmmakers are very, very adamant about saying this film does not, you know, it's not focused on hitting home an agenda. It's like yeah. something that it holds up the mirror to the Christian culture, but I think it's a universal um, message as well, I think, for people in all walks of life, um, regardless of their faith or if they even have a faith. Um, whatever their MO is, wh however they... Um, conduct themselves and, and whatever they believe, are they really um, practicing what they preach or are they just kind of going through the motions? Yeah. Um, but I, I will say I, I've never done a film like this before and um, so I'm not, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not uh, a believer necessarily, um, but I don't, I don't know what's out there and being exposed I was just actually to, I was gonna ask you that. Yeah, yeah, being exposed to these guys and being exposed to the beauty of the culture as well and the people and the beauty of faith was very inspiring. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. So is it um, fair to say that, I, I remember I spoke to uh, one of the writers, Michael B. Allen, and he mm -hmm. said, you know, they didn't have an agenda, but they did want people to think, you know, just to open up the understanding and, and just to kind of think for themselves. Is it fair to say that, that it did do that for you? Yeah, I think it does do that. And did it do it for me personally? Yeah. It definitely did. Oh. There was a lot of, there was a lot of, not debate, there was a lot of just in-depth conversation behind camera, um, offset, you know, in our, in our downtime. I think we really explored um, ourselves and really explored each other's beliefs. We had people from all, you know, sort of different walks of life involved in the film. Um, we had we had Christians that are, you know, that are coming from this walk of life that that grew up, um, you know, seeing people raise their hands in a certain way to worship. And then we have people who are, um, you know, atheists, you know. But I think. Um, we, we had an interview just before and um, Michael Allen was talking about um, all of the c company, particularly like the cast, regardless of where they come from, mm -hmm. appreciate the authenticity of the characters mm -hmm. and I totally, I totally agree with that. And uh, along those lines with authenticity, um, how real is a film like this? I mean, we're talking about the power of the platform, mm -hmm. you know, and, and in this particular uh, you know, since we're talking about ripping off Christians, but um, I mean people that you know use their platform and their celebrity to kind of prey on the emotion of people. Is that realistic? I mean, you have experience now as a you know big time star yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that realistic? Would you say? Um, yes, and I would say it. it I think that any. Um, Anything that's sort of organized on a mass scale has has vulnerability in that way. Human beings are not perfect. Um, human beings um, want to believe and human beings sometimes can, can be um, misguided in the way that they go about it or 
Um, I, I, I just think that regardless of whether it's a religious thing, a political thing, mm -hmm. I think there are often circumstances where um, what can start out as um, with all of the, you know, the right intentions in the world can, you know, can have vulnerability and, and people can use their celebrity to, you know, yeah. to, to sway people. That's One saying. more question. Um, for those people who haven't seen it yet, uh, why should they go see this film? I mean, you do an incredible job as just playing the convincing part of someone who, you know, everyone does like, and then you have like this, you know, scheme <laughs> in the, in the, at the end of it. But um, why should people go see the film, believe me? I think for me, first and foremost, they should go and see the film because they will laugh. Um, or I think most people will find it very funny. Yes. Um, I that's my favorite part of it. Um, but I also, you know, and that that hooked me when I was first reading the script. But then what really, you know, sold it and 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 took it all the way was everything turns on its head and um, when the consequences, you know, surface for these guys. I think the conflict between the characters feels very very real, and I and I think. It's something that everyone can identify with. So, awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, thank Alex, you so much. and thank you for just being open and willing to chat with us about the film. Believe me, go watch it. It's incredible. It's comedy, satire, and you you're not going to want to miss how this guy just captivates you and then tricks you. <laughs>